Hello, my name is Katie Stortz. I am the program coordinator for the ECE program in Brantford. And today I'm here to talk to you about the early child education fast track program that we have in Brantford. So for this program, you do need to have a previous degree already. So this could be, for example, a degree in psychology um, or something equivalent. And it needs to be from an accredited college or university. So you're coming in with some pre-existing knowledge of working with children and families, child development, and then we build upon that. Uh, this program takes place, for nine, takes place for nine months, okay, so it is very quick. Um, it is a lot of work, so you'll come in in September, it's full time, um, Monday to Friday, and then plus, of course, homework on top of that. So you come in and you may have class for three days a week, and then you may have placement for two days a week. Okay, and we'll talk more about that as you enter the program and what that looks like. Um, there is the ninth month comes in May, so it's September till May. May is an exclusive placement month. month okay, um, so you'll do classes and placements for eight months and then nine, the ninth month will be just placement. So when you come into the program, you will learn about child development, curriculum development. Um, we look at a lot of Ontario's pedagogy for the early years and legislation for the early years. Uh, we focus on relationships with children, families, uh, colleagues, and the community. So not only do we talk about the importance, but we also get to practice these relationships. Uh, we talk about professional practice. So what does it mean to be an early childhood educator? What's it mean in your workplace? What's it mean outside the workplace? Um, we learn in the classrooms, we do a lot of hands-on experiences, as well as you're learning in the field placement. So these are taking place at the same time. So you learn your theory, you take it directly into placement. And then you earn a professional legally protected title, RECE, which is a registered early childhood educator. So here's just some of our team. A couple of these spaces uh, will become familiar to you if you are coming to Brantford. Um, our team has extensive experience working with children and families. Um, they have written for many publications, many articles, and they have a wealth of experience to share with you. So our assessments and our experiences take place in a variety of ways. So some of the group will be, some of the work will be individual, um, such as tasks, writing papers, and then there's also a variety of group projects. Okay, but everything's very practical. Uh, lots of hands-on learning. So you may come to class one day and there's Play-Doh and there's paint and then you take the time to kind of reflect upon the experience. You write about the experience um, and then you get to integrate the theory and the experiences that you're learning in the classroom. Um, you get to integrate it right into your practice at placement. Okay, so you're learning about reflecting on your experiences in the classroom and then you go to placement you observe the children, you reflect upon that experience, and you plan for the children. So not only that, but we also have what we call our lab school, um, which is a child care center that is within the same building of our early childhood education classroom where you're learning. And we get to observe these children and work with the lab school to create the best experience for you. And here's Hannah to tell you a little bit about what that looks like. I came to the program for the simulated learning aspect. They have these cameras set up in the classroom, so we're able to watch all the ECEs working with the children. I have learned so much that's like so practical and so integrated into my everyday life. There's so much valuable learning that happens by just watching. So this gave you a little glimpse of that state-of-the-art technology that we have to observe the children. Um, we get to we can observe the children together or you do it alone. We can discuss on what we're seeing, reflect upon it. And this really prepares you for your experience that you're going to have at your field placements. So here's just a little glimpse of what the lab school looks like in Brantford. Uh, so we will observe this classroom, which is a preschool classroom. And we watch, we watch the interactions, we watch the educators interact with the children. Uh, we might talk about why the educators are doing what they're doing, why they might be putting materials out, and then we can kind of hypothetically plan what would we do as educators in these areas. 
Um, we may look at the environments and talk about um, why they set the environment up the way that they did. And here's just a glimpse of what the part of the toddler room looks like. And you can see that big window looking to outside. Uh, that window also kind of faces our classroom. So you can kind of see the toddlers from our classroom. And then we also have cameras that are outside so we can explore children's outdoor experiences. So there are three field placement experiences. Um, so you'll have one in the fall, one in the winter, one in the spring, like I said. So you'd have um, that one in May, that's the full month. And then you will have opportunities to work with children zero to 12. You may work in childcare, you may work in kindergarten rooms or other community agencies. Uh, now we really want to get to know you and your interests, of course. Um, so we arrange the placements, but we talk to you first and get an idea of, you know, what's your, what's your transit like? What's what area of the city do you live in? Um, and we kind of work with you to find an arrangement that's going to work best. And then your field placement experiences are evaluated. So are evaluated by your, uh, what we call your cooperating educator. So this is the person that is mentoring you at your placement. So they'll grade half of your mark. And then you also have some classroom assignments from that placement. And then your professor will grade those. Field placement days are a full day. So expect to work a full eight to four, nine to five, somewhere within that range. And you will, of course, have some books to buy. Now, we do make sure these books are relevant to the field. They're books that you will continue to use as you are, as you start your career as an early childhood educator. Okay, so um, also we'll have some online resources. Now, there's constantly new information about child and child, child development and curriculum, and we want to keep you up to date. So we do update our online resources as much as possible. Um, after graduation, you will more than likely find a job because early childhood educators, there's a need for them out there. Um, over 90% of our grads find employment and you may work in child care centers. So you can work with infants, toddlers, preschoolers, school age children. Uh, you'll get a better feel for kind of what you're interested in working in once you have those field placement experiences. Home child care is another option. You may want to open your own home child care or have a community organization support you in opening your home child care. And there's other community organizations that support children and families that you could work with. And also kindergarten classrooms. You can be part of that educator team once you are a registered early childhood educator. Um, the rate of pay varies depending on where you're working, what you're doing, how long you've been in the field but typically varies between $18 to $40 an hour. Um, employees, employers really value, and they do hire Conestoga ECE grads. Um, Conestoga College has the highest employment and graduate satisfaction rates. So having a diploma from Conestoga College looks very good on your resume. So now I have a video of Krista. Uh, she's just going to share a little bit about how ECE is more than just a job. I took the early childhood education course at Conestoga. You really see how much impact you can have in your role. I think that I would be successful if I have made a positive influence in a child's life. So you can see a quick clip, but this is a career that is so rewarding and you really truly are making a difference in the lives of children and families. Uh, upon graduation, you will have a professional designation um, with, the, on, with the College of Early Childhood Educators in Ontario. So like I said before, you'll be an RECE. It's a legally protected title. Um, if you wanna learn more about that, visit the College of EC website um, college-ece.ca. We talk a lot about this uh, within the program, so you will be well informed before you graduate about what to do and what to expect. Um, after graduation, there's also another option. Say you want to continue learning. Um, of course, you always continue learning, but say you want to do more formally, then you will, um, you can apply to do the early 
the Bachelor of Early Learning Program Development degree program, it's right at Conestoga, we do have options for our ECEs to bridge into the third year of this program. So that's something we can talk to you in your last semester about um, if you are interested in doing this. So why would you choose ECE Fast Track in Brantford? Well, you can get an ECE diploma in nine months. Uh, we do have smaller class sizes and it is a smaller campus. So you really get that sense of community. So as you're going into you know, the different buildings, you actually get to know people's names. There's a lot of familiar faces. Uh, we have several campus services and supports for learners. So if you need an accommodation, say you've had a, a classroom accommodation before and you still want one, or you want one again, then that can be arranged in Brantford. There's counseling services. Uh, we also have a partnership with Laurier, with their wellness center. So we partner with them to make sure that we are providing you with all the services that a student might need. Here's a glimpse of what the ECE classroom looks like in Brantford. So this is located right at our lab school. So as the children are playing outside, you can see that big beautiful window, we can see the toddlers playing in the yard. Um, we can also pull up our cameras so that you are, um, if we're observing them on the, in, the, in the classroom, we can pull it up so we're looking at them on the whiteboard, on the smart boards there, you can see the children play, we have discussions with each other. You can see it's a smaller classroom, so it is, it, we really do create that sense of community and we get to know each other really well. So next steps, of course, choose Conestoga. Um, and then there's some work that you have to do before you even start the program. So you will need to obtain your immunization records. There's some TB testing. Uh, when possible, uh, you'll need your standard first aid and CPR. Um, you'll need a police check for vulnerable sector, vulnerable sector screening. And you'll learn more about that once you decide to come to the program. And there will also be an orientation. So before the program starts in September, um, there will be an orientation. So keep your eyes peeled for an email about that. Uh, there you will meet some, some of your professors. Uh, you will be able to get some of your, your questions answered, learn about some of the books that you'll need and the resources you'll need. Um, it's a great place just to kind of get to know people before you even start on your first day. So if you'd like to learn more about the ECE program, um, the Fast Track program, you can visit our website. Um, we also have the two-year diploma program in Brantford if you feel like that would meet your needs more. Uh, if you want, if you have other questions that you want answered from me, please contact me directly. My email is kstortz at conestogac.on.ca. And I just want to thank you for listening to this today. Thank you for choosing ECE Fast Track. And I hope to meet you all in September. <laughs>